Well, a long time ago, a good friend of mine gave me several tips about how to do a good presentation. Okay? In fact, that unfortunately, I have, I have forgotten most of, the, of his recommendation, but I always remember two. The first one is say thank you. Okay? I have already said that. Okay? And the second one is about uh, uh, grabbing your attention. Capture your, from the very beginning of the presentation, cap capturing your attention okay? with three things. Either with a one-minute story, a good one, okay? uh, a strong announcement, okay? or uh, a question. Okay? Yesterday, when I was preparing the presentation, okay, I was thinking I was going to tell my, my history. Okay? But the problem is that I'm getting very, very older, very old. Okay? So it will be more than one minute. So I forget this. The second one is about the strong announcement. I go, as I'm going to talk about blockchain, okay, uh, I was tempted to reveal that I'm Satoshi Nakamoto, which is Bitcoin inventor, but I prefer to keep the secret, so I disregard that one. So I will go for the uh, question, okay? The question, okay. So what is, what is a bank? What do you think is its primary function? What is the essence of banking? Okay? Oh, who said that? I, I didn't hear anything, but I have to, to say something to go to this slide, okay? <laughs> the, uh, the essence of banking, the primary function of banking is promote economic activity, okay? And economic activity is no other thing but production, distribution, and consumption, okay? It's trading, exchanging things, buy and sell. In one word, it's just commerce. And commerce is what we have been doing humans from the very beginning of, of our lives. It's uh, bartering, we start with bartering, we have... I, I have a chicken, you have a cow, and we exchange, okay? Later with uh, using salt, pepper, uh, stones, bones as a medium of exchange. Later in the seventh century with the invention of the coins, okay? Gold, silver, copper coins, okay? And in, the, in all three cases, okay, there was an intrinsic value of money, okay? Even the coins, the, the value was the weight that it were, of the metal they were made of, okay? Later on in the 11th century, in the... the the Son and Ming dynasty, okay, they, we, we find the, the first paper money, okay, which was backed by the word of the uh, finance of uh, the Minister of Finance, okay. But it was on 1971, okay, in 1971 when, when the Bretton Woods uh, Agreement collapsed, okay, when the uh, actual system, the fiat system, uh, appears. Uh, because, of the, because of the collapse of the uh, balance of payments of the dollar, okay, Nixon has to, had to announce that the the Bretton Woods was, was over, okay? And that means that the central banks were able to issue money, freely, uh, freely floating money, okay? And they were using the banks to, they were, in fact, they were, the banks were the unique institution that were allowed to, to create money out of nothing, out of debt, okay? With three things, financial intermediation, credit creation, and fractional reserve, okay? But there was a problem. There was, uh, all of us, we know that there, has, there have been a lot, of, uh, a lot of crises, okay? But since 2008, okay, in this crisis, there, there, there happened two things, okay? The first one, okay, is that uh, with this crisis, okay, people start, start thinking, start talking about what was the real value of banks, okay? In fact, there is a, a Bank of England report from 2014 uh, talking about what is, uh, what is money for, okay? It was for consumption, and if you think about consumption, uh, not of not not everybody, okay. But we have uh, shoes, we have clothes, we have watches, we have uh, uh, mobiles, we have cars, dishwashers. So we are not natural consumers, okay. The other use of money is what's for speculative purposes, okay. I, I was a, I used to be a trader, okay, and I can tell you that if I'm making money, it is it's because something has, is losing, someone is losing money, okay. And the third one, if it was for uh, for the real value of money, with, for productive uses, okay. And a part of this problem, there was another one, a bigger one, much more disruptive, okay? And it was just a direct proof from people's disappointment for, of the actual fiat system, and that was called blockchain, okay? It's, if you think about it, it's a, a new system that came from the people for the people to create what we have seen in any other sector, do it yourself, okay? The thing is that with blockchain, every single people, every single person in the world can, can create its own bank, its own financial system, okay? Much more reliable, trustable, fair, inclusive, okay? And this is the real big problem from, from banks, okay? Because it's, it's, we are talking about just an extension of what we saw with internet, the democratization of communication. It's a democratization of finance, okay? So why, why it's so important, uh, uh, internet? So let's go back to the primary function uh, of banking, okay? Let me explain blockchain through, through 
uh, assembled with, uh, with physical bartering, okay? If you think about uh, changing things in the real world, okay, we have just two counterparties, Alice and Bob, okay? It took me several hours to think about those names, okay? If you Google, Google them, you will see this million of Alice and Bob's examples, okay? Well, Alice and Bob, and you have the asset, which is the apple. And uh, changing the apple is as simple as that, okay? Also, this slide took me several hours, okay? <laughs> And what about, uh, the, as you can see, at the very beginning, Alice uh, was holding the, the apple, and now it's Bob. And we are ourselves, that all of us, we are seeing the transaction. But in reality, okay, none, none of us, I mean, the, the apple is now Bob, okay? So it doesn't matter what we say. It doesn't matter, because the property of the apple is Bob, okay? So how can we transform this uh, physical battery into the digital one, okay? So here where it comes, the, the magical blockchain, okay? The first thing, the counterparties. The counterparties, there are no other thing but just a public addresses. It's like an Ivan, okay? It's a, it's a, 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 well, I don't know how to say it in English. It's a churro, okay? a, strong, a strong string, a, a, a quite long string, okay? Which identify perfectly Alice and Bob. And this public string, okay, is, let me say, is the public hash of the uh, sorry, if the hash of the public part of a private and public uh, uh, key keeper, okay? Okay, so let me introduce those key concepts from blockchain, the public and private keepers. There are a lot of things that mathematical, mathematically links uh, uh, strings, okay, uh, with elective, elective curve, elective curve uh, um, function, okay? And with two key uses in, in, in blockchain, well, it's, 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 it's really important that it's impossible, okay? If you have the private key, it's impossible to derive the, the public one, and it's impossible to get the public, to, uh, to get, I mean, with the public to get the, the private. And in blockchain, we are using the private uh, public uh, pair for two things. The first one, for encryption. You take the private, you encrypt with the private, and you decrypt with the public. Or you encrypt with the public and you decrypt full with the, uh, you encrypt with the public and decrypt with the private. And the other thing that is using for is for signature, okay? You take any, any message and you sign with your private uh, key and you can validate with the public one, okay? And it's impossible, it's impossible right now, today, okay? It's impossible that anyone, anybody who signed this message say that he didn't, did, uh, he didn't sign it, okay? Because you can validate this message. Okay, and the other thing is the hash uh, function, the hash algorithm. The hash is no other thing but uh, an algorithm, okay, that maps an arbitrary size, an arbitrary size of data, okay, into a fixed uh, size of data. Okay, as I told you, this is the churro that I told you before, okay, which is a fixed uh, string, okay, and it's incredible because uh, it's deterministic, okay, that means that. It's always the same input produces the same output, and the most insignificant change that you make to the input, it produces a completely different output. And the other thing is that it's not invertible, meaning that if you have the hash, there is no way, no human way to derive the, the, the input, okay? The, the original data. Okay, so what about the, the asset? How can we create a we got uh, Alice and Bob, okay? We have already digitalized Alice and Bob. And what about the asset? How can we get this asset digital? Because remember that one of the important things about the asset is property. Because if I'm holding the apple, no matter what you say, but the apple is mine. And the only people, the only person that, that can uh, taste this, this apple is, is myself, okay? So how can we do that, okay? Well, let's go first to all of you, okay? All of you, you are seeing this transaction, okay? All of you are exactly the same as Bob and Alice, so you are identified by the public and your, the private and your public address, okay? And you form a peer-to-peer -peer network. What you have on your computers, on your laptops, on your mobiles, you have the software, okay, that identifies you with your public, your private and public addresses, okay? Okay, so we've got Alice, we've got Bob, okay? We've got ourselves. And both Alice and Bob, they are belonging to exactly the same peer-to-peer -peer network. Okay, so what about the asset? Okay, how can we create a digital representation of the asset? Okay, that holds all the the, the attributes of the of the asset. Okay, 
Another important thing about the acid is that in the physical world, it's impossible to create different copies because this apple is none of those. Okay, it's impossible to counterfeit the apple. But in the digital world, if you think about it, it's quite easy to make million of million of copies. Okay, this one it should be faster, but I make it to to just to rest. Okay, okay. So it's so how can we create how can we create a, a digital digital representation of the the asset? And this is one of the most important things about blockchain, okay? Because the asset is no other thing but a, a balance in a ledger, okay? Alice, I know everybody, has a ledger where, where he writes down the balances of any asset that she, that she holds. In this case, the apple, okay? And in this book, she, uh, she keeps all the transactions that, that she has been doing. As you can see, uh, 11 of November is in red, okay? Because Alice, uh, Alice gave me five, five apples for my, for my birthday pie, okay? Because what my birthday on the 11th of November? You can say congratulations or happy birthday, something like that. Okay, so, and the good thing about the, the, the token, okay, is that the ledger is that the token could be anything you may think of. It could be gasoline, electricity, bitcoins, or our hours of, of work, okay? That's the really important thing about, about uh, blockchain, okay? This token could be anything the issuer wants what it to mean, okay? And another great thing about blockchain is that as it is an open source technology, okay, that means that anybody can contribute to, to the improvement of the technology. And right after, the, uh, the, right after that blockchain 1.0 appears, okay, in 2014 with Ethereum, it came the blockchain 2.0, the smart contracts. The smart contracts, they are no other thing but small, small programs, okay, that runs exactly as they were uh, programmed, okay? And that allows us to create the smart tokenization. You want, if you want to know more about the smart tokenization, you can go to the BG uh, standard. We are gonna be, uh, we are gonna be there, okay? This is really important, and this is a huge, a huge change between the fiat system right now, okay? Because if, if I have an, an euro on my pocket, this euro is completely silly. It's, it's stupid, okay? I leave this, this euro here and someone can take it. But if I have a euro, a tokenized euro, okay, it's not silly. That means that if I leave, if I, if I left the, the euro, if I leave the euro here, okay, the euro can go back to me, okay? Because it's intelligent token. We can, we can embed, bi embed business rules in the token, okay? Okay, so let's go back again to the transaction. We've got Alice, we've got Bob, we've got uh, the peer-to-peer -peer network, both Alice and Bob on the same network, and we got the asset. Oh, sorry, not this asset. That one. That was another broma. Okay. <laughs> okay. And the good thing about blockchain is that this layer is not only Alice's layer. This layer is shared between all the nodes in the network. So that means that the, everybody knows that Alice has one apple because we are we are uh, sharing exactly exactly the same layer. Okay. So. Bob has uh, uh, its own layer, and every single node in the in the peer-to-peer -peer network has their own layer, and Alice has the layer, all the same layer. Okay, that's one really important thing about uh, blockchain. Okay, so what about the the exchange? Okay, so in the in the real world, it's just giving the the apple to Bob. In blockchain, it's just updating the layer. And the great thing about blockchain is that at the same time that you update Alice and Bob's layers. It's been updated in all the layers in the network, okay? So it's impossible to, to commit fraud. It's impossible to Alice to spend twice the double spending, okay? Because she has already no apples, okay? So let's talk about the transaction itself, okay? In, in blockchain terms, it's just a message, okay? Me, Alice, want to send one, one apple to Bob. And the good thing about blockchain is that if Alice, if Alice doesn't have an apple uh, in his layer, in, in her layer, sorry, he couldn't even send the message. But let's say that he wants, she wants to tease Bob, okay? Bob would reject the, the message, why? Because on his layer, uh, Alice only have one apple. So let's see that Bob and Alice wants to tease the entire network, but it's impossible, but also all of you, all of you, you have exactly the same layer, and you know that Alice has only one apple, and Bob has no apple, okay? So Alice cannot, cannot send more than one. I'm gonna drink just a bit of water, okay? Just to re relax. Sorry. Okay, 
So, but what about what? Imagine that Alice one day says, "Okay, I never send this message." This message, but that's impossible because remember that I told you about about encryption, decryption, and signing. Okay, it's impossible because when Alice sends the message, okay, she has to sign it with his private key, and no other person, no other woman in the world, okay, could send this message because all of us we can, as we ho we have the public the public key of Alice. All of us we know that this message was sent by Alice. Okay, so he cannot reject the message. So one, once Alice uh, broadcasts the message to the entire network, okay, they, in the network there are special nodes called miners that they, what they do is just they pick up all the transactions, all the transactions that are going, in, in, uh, are, are going around, okay, and they put in a block, okay, and they work. They work for what? They work to create a special block in, in certain conditions that is able to link with the chain, making them immutable, permanent, and tamper, et cetera, okay? And for this work, because this work costs uh, either uh, electricity or whatever, okay? And for this work, they are rewarded. For, uh, with what? With new, new cryptocurrencies, okay? And this is one of the key important and, and critical th thing about blockchain, okay? Because we are talking about absolutely decentralization. And this is one of the things that the banks has, uh, haven't uh, understood yet, okay? Because it's impossible, impossible to create a blockchain without the cryptocurrency or have a cryptocurrency with blockchain, okay? Because if you don't have the cryptocurrency, the only thing that you have is a, is a bad share uh, database. It's only that. Okay, so now that we have all the all the transaction uh, completed, okay, why it's so important? Why it's so important blockchain? Okay, blockchain is so important because as the uh, internet did, it will change the world. Well, at least is the promise of blockchain. Well, at least is the promise that I'm doing. Okay, it will change the world. The, the world. Why? Because we are working toward decentralized societies. We have already seen with, uh, in the, with internet that communications has been decentralized, okay? With blockchain 1.0, okay, we are gonna decentralize commerce. We are gonna decentralize finance because it's exactly the same. If you think about any, any other industrial revolution or ag agricultural uh, revolution, okay, right after a change in commerce, there was a huge change in the finance, okay? And blockchain 1.0 is a huge change in commerce. So we will see a, a huge change in finance. And the second one, with blockchain 2.0, okay, we will see a decentralized law. Why? Because with blockchain 2.0, you don't need lawyers. You don't need enforcers. You don't need uh, adjudicators. Because everything, everything is, is safe on the blockchain in the smart contracts, okay? Well, uh, we are seeing already with the Internet of Things and 3D printing, we are seeing the decentralization of production, okay? And uh, in some in some uh, cities in the states, okay, we are seeing that the centralization the centralization of energy with self production and self consumes. There is another thing, another another pillar, okay, which is decentralized work, okay, because we will see decentralized work. Because if you think about work, okay, <coughs> the, all the all the the uh, organizations are pyramidal organizations, and the and the thing is that the people from up. They're, they are not getting old, I mean, they are not dying and they are not leaving the, 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 the firms, okay? So there's no blank space for newcomers, okay? So the work, what it, uh, the way it will work at the end, okay, is that you will have a task that I will be able to do and I have a task that you will be able to do. And we will exchange taxes and we will exchange tasks and we will exchange just assets, okay, with this technology, okay? So... I mean, this is the, a presentation, okay, and it's uh, uh, in PowerPoint. As you can see, everything is, is be possible, okay? Let's see how can, you, how can we use blockchain, okay? Let me put this, this video. Imagine a bank for people like you, created in a collaborative way by people like you. Imagine the result. Download the app and sign up with a European ID or passport. Get an IBAN and a debit card in three minutes and discover the economy beyond euros, pounds and dollars. Obtain a global vision of your finance, adding accounts from other banks and controlling them all from one unique app. Discover not only how much you spend and on what, but also how much money you will have daily for the following year. Activate automatization of your economy through artificial intelligence.
Your telephone bill is 26% higher than usual. Do you want to check it? Yes, yeah, please. Collaboratively buy assets with users from the whole of Europe to obtain savings. And when you want, you can pay with them, sell them or trade them for other assets. Access a global offer of investment products, loans or insurances provided by fintechs and banks from around Europe. Send money off to your friends through contacts or through your favorite app. Point your card against the balance you want in each moment. Forget about the abusive commissions. Join the revolution and help us to reshape the future. More people, less banking. Together Bank, the first collaborative bank. Okay, as you, can, as you have seen, okay, why are we building a bank? Okay, because as I said, the, the primary function of, of banks is just commerce, okay? And with blockchain, we are using the last technologies, blockchain for transaction, okay? Which is buying and selling, exchanging, buying, uh, trading, okay? Blockchain for transaction. Artificial intelligence for automatization and programming economy. We are using machine learning for optimization. We are using big data to get every single, every single blink or every single use or need for the user. Okay? We are using also the uh, natural language processing for user interaction. We have a bot called Flap, okay, which is a, a 24 hours assistant that will help you to manage your economy. We have a split, we have a split banks into three things. The smart, smart liquidity management, okay, which is what you have seen. Uh, I'm not going to tell you how, how are you today in terms of funds. I will tell you how you will be in one week, in one month, or even one year. The second one is the smart event banking. Okay? As I said, we are, gonna, we are capturing every single move of the user. So I will know perfectly when the user will need money or when the user will have money to, to put on a, on a product, an inversion product. Okay? And the good thing about this is that I'm not, I'm not interested, I'm not, my business model is not interest rate, okay? Because interest rate is at zero, so I don't care about interest rate, okay? What I'm using is, a, in, this case, in this case, I'm using a marketplace. I'm, if you think about banking, as I said, this production, distribution, and, and consumption, and this, this flow has been completely abandoned, okay? There are million, million of startups, a million, million of banks, okay, that, that are already offering uh, wealth management, uh, insurance, uh, loans, okay? So I'm not gonna create the best one. So what I'm, gonna go, uh, what I'm gonna do is look for the best one, for the user, okay? And the third part is the smart tokenization model, okay? Your accounts will not be full of euros, okay? What, and in fact, with the euro, you think about euro, okay, you cannot eat the euro, you cannot drink the dollar, you cannot uh, travel on, on Swiss franc, okay? You save and you spend in gasoline, on in, in the insurance, or in the grocery market, okay? And this is the third part. But how are we delivering this, okay? If you think about the, the idea, the vision, okay, probably if we go to the market right away, we are gonna lose 85, 90%, 99% of the people. So the first thing that we must do, okay, is uh, demonstrate, show that it's possible to create a new financial system with this new technology, okay? As my, my friend and uh, neighbor and uh, partner and Tokayo in English can, okay? It's uh, Salvador Carrillo, okay? He used to say that uh, it's easier to create a Tesla from scratch than to convert a Rolls Royce. And it's true. It's much more easy to create a bank from scratch than to try to, uh, to uh, transform the actual system, okay? And if you think about, about use cases, okay, there are millions of use cases. Let's say, for example, this is a, a together line city, okay? This is for you to start thinking, okay, and create your own business models. Because one of the things that we are gonna do on the platform is create, a, a, create the platform in pieces, okay, in modules. So anyone, anybody, that's the, the half part of Together Bank, is together, which is collaborative. So anyone, anybody can create their own business models for the new economies, okay? So imagine, let's say that, imagine there is a two, two worlds, Together Land City and Together, together Land Valley, okay? Everybody lives, lives in, the, in the green side of the world, and everybody works in the blue side of the world. And there are only two roads. The first one, which is from the, from the Together Land City to Together Valley, and the second one from Together Valley back to the Together Land City, okay? And let's say that you have three gas stations, okay? One on the way, uh, on the way to work, and the one, and two more, 
uh, on to going back to, to your house, okay? And let's say that you have no preferences, but what happens? That the market share from, uh, from the gas is 20% 20, 20 40 and 40. Why? Because simply you, ha you don't have time at, in the morning to put a uh, gasoline in the first one. Because you are always, you are lazy, okay, and you wake up, you wake up just five minutes, okay, and you have no time to, to go to this gas station. So imagine that the, the owner of the gas station says, okay, I would like, I would like to improve my market share. She, he can issue a token backed by a real asset, which is gasoline, which is a liter of gasoline, okay, and put, for example, a 10% discount, 8% discount. So I'm a lazy guy, okay? But if, if instead of uh, spending five, 500 euros uh, per month, I spend 450, okay, I will, up five, I will wake up five minutes to put uh, gasoline there. But imagine that it's not me who is buying the gasoline. Imagine who is the restaurant. And as it is an intelligent token, as, it, as you can put, as you can embed business rules, okay? Let's say that this token, that the, the token that the restaurant is buying, okay, is only valid from 8 o'clock in the morning till 10 o'clock in the morning, or from 1 o'clock to, uh, uh, to 15 o'clock, 3 o'clock, okay? And adding a 5%. So if you go from 8 to 10 or 1 to 3, okay, it's more, you have more chances to get into the restaurant to have breakfast or, or lunch. But imagine also that there is a... Uh, at a hospital, okay, in Togetherland City, okay? And imagine that I need, there's one poor guy that needs a surgery, an expensive surgery, okay? So he can, the hospital can issue a token, okay, that it's only valid for this, for this uh, surgery, only valid for the medicines. So you are completely sure, there's no fraud, because you are completely sure that if you buy this token, it will be used only for this surgery, okay? And if, he's, uh, if the guy is trying to, to use the token for any other things, the token will go back to your, to your accounts, okay? So, as I said, there are millions of use cases, millions of use cases. So, as we said in the video, okay, join the revolution and help, up, help us to change the world, okay? And I have the last one, the last tip from my friend, I have to say thanks. I don't know if you have any, any questions. Easy one, eh? I was saying that in, in classical signature, there is the uh, certification authority who issues the cer digital certificates and guarantees the validity of, of signature. It's uh, the third party, I mean. I, I would like to know here uh, who makes uh, who this, this role of third party. And a second question. You have talked about property. Property can be divided in two parts, possession and the right of the property. In your example, the apple, uh, it, it goes both at the same time, property and possession. The question is, what happens when these two parts diverge? I mean, you make the, transa the transaction, but you don't give the real apple to Bob. What happens? In real world, we have the justice, we have the law, we have the police, the state powers. Who hears, who makes that the real transaction happen? Who guarantees that? Okay. Um, well, let me first answer on the second one. Okay. Um, you have seen that. Uh, you have seen a, a, a really good presentation. Hope that you like uh, all of you like it. Okay. But uh, I have to say one thing: that it's impossible to jump from the real world to the to the libertarian world. It's impossible. Okay. Because you, ha you have to make a transition. Okay. And this is exactly what we are doing. What you have said. Okay. Is true. I mean, there are police. There are enforcers. There are lawyers. Okay. And you cannot change uh, the way the, the, the world is, 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 is working right now. Okay. So the way that uh, is, is, is solved. It's being solved in blockchain. Is that in the tokenization process. Okay. You have, you have the token, and as I said, you can embed, uh, embed code in the token, okay? You have to take a, a real contract, and you have three parts in the contract. You have the, the, the business as usual, where you can program with no problem, okay? You have the, the, you have the contingency things, okay, which must you are obliged to get a, a lawyer or a police or whatever, okay? Because you, you cannot, you cannot, uh, you cannot, um, mm, Aventurar, 
uh, uh, you, you cannot uh, think about every every single uh, issue that can happen. Okay, so you have the the business as usual that you can program. Okay, it will go in this technology. The contingency things that you need police, you need lawyers. Okay, and you have the oracles. Okay, the oracle, the oracles are the uh, 35 parties. Okay, that put uh, data into the blockchain, and those ones must be 35. Okay, because it's true, you cannot jump to the libertarian world. Okay. And on the first, uh, on the, regarding the, the first one, regarding the property and the asset, okay, uh, remember that the token is just a, a, a balance, okay? So wh uh, whoever, whoever uh, has the balance has the property and the, and the rights on the, uh, on, the, on the token, okay? And it will depend on the way you issue the token because you can, you can attach a, a legal contract on the, on the token. Okay, so as I said, you will have to go to the real world, okay, to make this uh, function. I mean, it's, it's not true. If, if anybody, if anybody, any libertarian or any any um, guru, okay, uh, tells you that it's possible to re re to rebuild the world with this technology, it's not possible. I mean, it will be, but right now you need a transition, okay. And this is exactly what we are doing at Together Bank. Yeah. Vale. Vale, vale, no. Gracias. Okay. Thank you very much.